Hi, my name is Jaquara, and if you're here and you're on my channel, it's because you love all things bougie on a budget. We do DH gate links here. We do DH gate links here. Just download the DH gate app and follow my links below. We do vintage and uh, we do inspired looks, inspired Dior, Adidas Times, Gucci, Tiffany, Times, Nike, Nike Times, Louis Vuitton, um, Fendi, Times, Versace. All right, so guys, I apologize if I'm not always energetic. I teach four classes and um, so by the time I get home to you all to um, film, I'm tired. <laughs> I just want to share with you my new lip color from MAC. I'm actually sharing it with you because I forgot to put it on. Okay. And this is, it looks like this. It is Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Color. And this color is Make It fashion make it fashion make it fashion but i'm enjoying this um this is my spring summer lip today my outfit of the day is an old old navy outfit which definitely reminds me of diva or so um i had on some coach ba ballet flats that were about this color and I did take my hair down. All right, so today we have a vintage Dior. You guys know I've been collecting Dior dupes. Amazon, there's a video on that. This I just found on the internet. And this one I got from Gates. So there is a whole video on that. This is vintage and it's authentic. There's a video on this. And this is an authentic vintage. There's a video on this. So I purchased this to go with my Dior inspired Nikes. And I'm really, I guess, anal or precise or ADHD because it bothered me that this is actually blue and this is black. And as I'm learning Dior, I'm learning why. I mean, I know this matches, but the Dior shoe was more so made for men. And I just recently found out that there's a low top and a high top inspired Dior shoes for men. And there's a low top and high top Dior inspired shoes for women. So the men's is more so black swoosh because Dior for men has black trim with this pattern. It has a black trim instead of a blue. And the women's Dior inspired shoes have a gray and like a baby blue. And that's because the Dior gray for women shows some blue to it. So we'll get into that later. But I wanted to wear this with this. It's okay, but it wasn't perfect. So since that was a manly shoe, I wanted to get a bag that was more, a little more masculine, like the modern masculine Dior bags. This bag, if you like it, there is a 30 Montaigne Avenue that's very similar to this with a chain that would be like the updated version. It's gorgeous. I can't afford it right now, but it is gorgeous and I do like that bag. I cleaned it up and I'll clean up this one. So per usual, you know, I'm always afraid to buy vintage bags. Um, does it smell? Is it how clean or dirty is it? How bad is the hardware really? I also bought a baby blue one, so stay. Or is this the baby blue? Oop, this is the baby blue, guys. My mistake. So this, I want this to match the feminine Dior inspired shoes, Nike Dior inspired shoes. Let me rephrase that. Nike times Dior, Air Dior inspired nikes that i'm going to get that are gray and blue i'll insert a picture i thought 
thought this was the black one so the black one hasn't came yet now this one i'm really scared of because it has a stain on the strap that looks like it's not going to come off if you've been watching my show you know that i was not a fan of these bags until i found out about the air Dior's, the jordan one air Dior's, and then all of a sudden i was like you know what this isn't bad okay so i know now that this is going to be hard to clean because it's vinyl i thought it was made out of cloth so just got so you guys know if you ever buy this this is made out of vinyl so it is going to be hard for me to clean it has a stain on the back it has a few faint stains on the front i think from far away though you really can't see the ones on the front um I did jump on this because there were barely one to, at one time, maybe a year ago when I saw these, there were a lot, but at this point there were barely any. And the hardware, the leather isn't as bad as the pictures made it out to be. It's really okay. There's your CD. That's not bad. The patent leather isn't bad. Here's the problem. There is a stain here. Now, I had the idea at work, I thought about this at work, that I could put maybe my Dior gift with purchase that I bought on eBay, that maybe I could put that on there to kind of hide the stain. It's a pin, and I have two of them, so maybe I could put the two pins on there. I am going to try to work on it. It's more stains now that I notice there are more, um, but for two... I'll put the exact amount, but this bag was only two something. So for two something, I have a D or bag that will hopefully match my Nikes that I plan on purchasing very soon. Um, I decided to go ahead and go with this because even though there isn't currently any D or feminine bags like this that are women's no. bags, there are bags similar to this in the men's department, not in this color. This is um this color is feminine it is a part of the feminine collection if you look at the dior um book totes they do still have some in like this bluish gray um but the style and shape is very similar to the men's and i thought it was really cute that it had a one because i'm wearing it with my air jordan ones and it has a one so i was like you know it's funny how our minds change so the only thing that bothers me is this here but honestly, um, now that I'm looking at it, it's on the back side. So that's even better. I thought it was on the front. So the front side is not that bad. Well, that one is. Um, but that shit, my hair might hide that. So let's just see how it looks. So if you want to, I think they turn it over so it wouldn't be so bad. Oh, no, I've got it backwards, guys. Oh, my God. Who was going to tell me? I've got it backwards. Okay, so it is, yeah, so it is obvious. I'm hoping I can get it out with some carpet cleaner and... And it is in the front. So I was thinking if I just wear it on this side, it's not as noble, noticeable because the stain will be towards the back. I usually don't wear my bags on the shoulder because of this situation. Um, I'm forced to kind of wear it on the side that I normally wouldn't. I mean, from afar, I don't think the front or, or the sides are too bad. It's just people who see me from the back. And again, I might just put a pin on it when I wear it. So that's how it looks as a shoulder bag, which we both know is not meant to be a shoulder bag. I've seen them do this on the Nike website where the pouch is like this. I don't think I would do that, but that's an option. You can also put one arm through it and do kind of like a what do we call these? Bum bag. You could do a bum bag with this to make it look more up to date and i kind of do like that and then of course i can just wear it like this now i can adjust which is nice these easily adjust so that's how it looks i think it's adorable i really think it's adorable and i forgot to show you guys the authenticity card so here's the envelope and here is a booklet and here's a card i don't know if it's real though because it doesn't have anything written on the back you all that have real ones um let me know why is nothing on the back of it all right um i don't know if it is a dupe then 
Oh wow, it's a vintage drip. <laughs> it's vintage. It was affordable. Let's see that. Um, the shoes, even these shoes match. I mean, that gray with the blue is not bad until I get the other shoes. What do you guys think? So again, I'm gonna insert a picture of the shoes that I put this to go with. And I did snatch it up early because there's only see one left on eBay. Only see one left. And I don't remember seeing any more on Vestari or um, Poshmark, but they're pretty expensive. They are really expensive. And I just recently found out that they came out with two, Nike came out with two Dior dupes for the Nike Air Dior. I didn't know they had feminine one. I just knew about the two men. So I really like that feminine, feminine style because if you look closely, the blue that's on the bottom of the Air Dior's and the blue that's on the bottom of my shoe now that's disgusting, I think actually comes from the blue, the shadow in the background. I never noticed that. So it explains kind of why they went with that blue sole to, to kind of make that blue, that lighter blue pop out. All right, so here's my two bags. We have a black one coming. It's like this, but it has black with a shadow of gray and a black strap. Um, which is really hard to find in vintage. Most um, vintages are just like this with this blue, light blue trotter. So I, I went ahead and got that. And I am in love with my Dior collection, guys. I really am. Tell me what you think about my Dior collection. I am still want to film myself cleaning up these straps. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for the Air Jordans that I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy two authentic air jordans and then i'm gonna buy i'm gonna do a dh gate haul of nike airs at some point so stay tuned for that if you're interested in seeing how dh gate nike air Dior's look all right guys now is the time to like share and subscribe make sure you hit the notification bell because i am about to go on summer break which means i will be videotaping more i'll be sharing some of my dh gate bags with you that i've purchased um, some of my authentics that I purchased, some of my vintage. I don't have shorts of those. So I'll be working on making shorts of all my whole collection over the summer. So hit the notification bell so you won't miss my collection. Talk to you guys later. See you soon because that Dior, other Dior is coming. <laughs>